Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. Today is the fifth video in atomic structure. So let's get started. Bam! So look at this. This is a cathode ray tube. Okay, so this is a cathode ray tube that you're looking at right here. So in a cathode ray tube, you should see this green line go zipping through there. That is a beam of electrons and that is light that we see. Okay, so we're going to take that away there. Okay, but what we do also... Uh, what J.J. Thompson did, if you look at the previous video, is he, what he did is he took a magnet, and this magnet is he took a neo, he took any kind of magnet, actually, so it really doesn't matter. He took one that was the positive end or the negative end, but I'm going to take an example of the positive end of a magnet. And turning on the cathode ray tube, then this is what will happen. That is, those electrons in that beam of electrons is going to be deflected by that magnet. Now, I just happened to use the positive end of the magnet uh, next to the cathode ray tube. Electrons are negative, and it moves closer to the positive end. If I took the negative end of the magnet, then that cathode ray tube beam of light would move in the opposite direction and away from the magnet. Okay, That fluorescent green light is composed of negatively charged particles. Those are electrons, and that's what... J.J. Thompson did is he determined the charge to mass ratio of an electron. And this is the very key important number right here. That charge to mass ratio of an electron is a negative 1.76 times 10 to the 8 coulombs per gram of electron. And so that was very critical. Now, your chemistry professor, teacher, instructor will probably not show you a cathode ray tube actually in action because it does emit x-rays and everybody would have to be wearing lead aprons. And it's really hard to see through lead glasses as well. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Here is a homemade Christmas hat. Give me a thumbs up on that video. Subscribe to my channel. See you next time.